Hi everyone, welcome to my Autodesk screencast. My name is Zan Ta and I work for Repro Products in Smyrna, Georgia. I am an Autodesk certified instructor and hold many certifications in multiple Autodesk products for the AEC industry. I hope you enjoy my screencast. If you'd like to see more of my screencasts, please search for VAR 2015, that's VAR 2015, or my name. Please don't forget to give me a thumbs up after you watch it. In today's screencast, we'll be taking a look at Autodesk Point Layout 2016 within Revit 2016 to add points to slabs and footings. Here I have a 3D structural model, and I have these footings, where at, which are actually families. And if you go through the Autodesk Point Layout tools and try to place it on slab footing or face command on these families, it will not work. They don't register. <clears throat> The way to actually place the points that you want on the footings is to select the footing and edit that family. So we'll go to the floor plan view. <clears throat> we'll place our points that we want. And we'll call it footing. And footing points as a verification. We'll hit OK. <clears throat> we'll do work plane and we'll put them at the corners. Once you've done that, right click and cancel. Go look at it in 3D to verify that they're placed on those corners. And then what you need to do is you need to make sure you use the align command and align and lock <clears throat> those points to those reference planes so that way they stay at the corners as the different sizes of footings are being used. If you don't align and lock them, you'll end up having points out in space where they shouldn't be. <clears throat> Once you finish with it, save it and load it back into the project and then use the top one, Override Existing. That way the points are placed and each individual footing that has different sizes stays their, remaining, their existing sizes. If you pick the bottom one, all the footings will be the exact same size. You don't want that. <clears throat> so once we've done this, all the points get fixed. Now let's take a look at floor slabs. If I go to Autodesk Point Layout, do Slab Footing Command, um, I can use the Slab Point. We'll do the Slab. <clears throat> we'll say both top and bottom. Uh, we'll say Slab Points. And we'll just do a selection, not all of them. <clears throat> and we only need to start in the end point, so we'll leave it at none. We'll hit OK. And now the software is telling us to select the foundation or floor slab. <clears throat> we'll pick this one. When you finish, hit finish here in the options toolbar. And if you get this warning, then that's to let you know that the software is having issues trying to build those points. We're going to cancel that for now. And we're going to do it a different way. I'm going to click face and we'll say edges. And we'll do it at every certain distance, say five feet. And the location point is going to be slab points. Hit OK. And we can pick the slab edge that we want. And hit OK. And it places them. So you will end up having to work with it a little bit <clears throat> to get the software to function properly. But at the end of the day, you can go ahead and place these points for footings and slabs accordingly. Thanks for watching my screencast. And please don't give it. Forget to give me a thumbs up.